national, the Republican National Hispanic Assembly of Massachusetts is a statewide organization of Hispanic Republican leaders in the business, public, and private sectors all throughout the Commonwealth. Now, their mission is to foster the principles of the Republican Party in the Hispanic community. Now, since its formal inception in, back in 1974, the Assembly has been involved in the elections of Presidents Ford, Reagan, George H. W. Bush and George W. Bush to tell us more about their local efforts. We've invited its chair and co-chair to the program, Joseph Rodriguez and Regla Gonzalez. Welcome to Revista Hispana. You've both been here before for different uh, different purposes. You like the new set? Beautiful, I love it. beautiful, beautiful. Very I nice. love it. Yeah, yeah. It looks nice with your red. Yes. <laughs> I'm talking about the hair. <laughs> well, and the shirt too. Yeah. <laughs> and we know we know and love each other for many right, years, we right? Know for uh, so many years, yeah. I don't want to mention it. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you for uh, inviting off, us. Right. Off the record. You were almost not born. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was not born <laughs> way back then. But okay, guys. So tell me a little bit more about this local effort. I mean, I gave a good introduction, but right, how do you how do you how do you describe it? To well, folks? basically, uh, uh, you know, uh, we started in. 1981, uh, 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 when uh, uh, we had a uh, different uh, chairmen, uh, all the way down to Mercedes Fernay and Hugo, who um, they were also the uh, the, uh, the chairman of the Hispanic Republican, and then uh, Juan Cabrera and then myself and Regla. So uh, what we're trying to do, what we're, do, what we're doing, is trying to incorporate Hispanic with different view. Uh, we have, you know, like we have uh, a nation of uh, different ideas Correct. and dif different perspectives. So it's great to have uh, Latino, Hispanic in uh, you know, Democratic Party, uh, Republican Party, Independent, so we can give, uh, uh, you know, advice right. to whomever be uh, the president or whomever is running for whatever, uh, uh, whatever. Uh, um, it could be local, state, right. or national. So right? we need to tell them that we are here, yeah. and, and uh, us being there, we can make recommendations uh, on so many issues like immigration and uh, you know health insurance and all of that. Yeah. And uh, the perception is that uh, the Republicans are basically uh, against you know uh, a lot of things, but not everybody is like that. Right. It's very diverse. It's 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 a diversity yeah. of not just thought mm -hmm. and, and political, but even within the party, because I know you guys have diversity within the, the Republican Party. Well, it's Basically, we promote uh, elected officials too, and to promote the Latinos in key positions, which has been the case at the national level on the different presidencies and the local level on the Republican uh, elected officials. Is that like a Charlie Baker, right? Correct. Uh, That's exactly. a typical example, and we have people in there that have been Democrats for life that have been serving in a rep Republican uh, governor, yeah. and that's our mission to recommend to to make clear. But that our bases are all the same. We're all Latinos, mm -hmm. and we all aim for family, religion, country, yeah. and we all have uh, our goals in life. Now, there's a statistic that I want you guys to kind of look yeah. at. Now, you know, every 30 seconds. So when I start this, you know, when I end this, this will have happened. So every 30 seconds in the United States, a Latino turns 18, which becomes another eligible voter. This will continue for the next 21 years. This, I imagine, both parties need to pay more attention. Actually, the Democrats. And that's the Republicans right. and obviously the Independents. And well. historically, and that's, uh, and that's, that's right. And that's basically what Charlie, uh, Governor Charlie Baker, uh, is doing. Basically, he's uh, putting Hispanic in different positions, not only like entry level position, but we have up in man uh, management and, and, and you know uh, up to that level. Yeah, so, you think Ch Charlie's done a pretty good job in, in diversifying the right, right. yeah. Historically, every other president, starting in from Reagan, Reagan was a champion in immigration. And he was the last time there was an amnesty was, was last Ronald Reagan. Time that we he have a real created amnesty. the amnesty, yeah. and he is a Republican. And if you look at nowadays, there is two million Latinos being deported under this new administration, which is ridiculous. Has been a large a Latino population being deported, which has never been done in any other. You, you must know exactly what I'm going to talk about next, Egg, because that's yeah. exactly what we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. Now, for people that want more information, I do want to put the website up on Correct. screen. Mm -hmm. I also want to remind people that 20% now of Boston is Latino, and I know we've got a, a statistic that says one out of every five... It's uh, a Latino. One out of every five Bostonians is Latino, and I know you guys were aware of that. So, um, first of all, I want to congratulate you guys both. Thank you. Keep Thanks. up the good job. I know that. Should we say it, Jose? Should we say it? Say it. You're going to be a grandmother. I am. I'm <laughs> just out. Yeah. So, congratulations. Please, uh, I'd like to encourage all Latinos to contact us. We are all Latino. 
we bleed on the same heart and we defend issues that are of concern about Latinos. Good job. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank and you. I'll see you out there. Thank Very you. Good. All right. And she gave me the perfect segue because immigrants who fled poverty, violence in Central America face death threat, face threat of mass deportation in 2016. All the details coming right up right here on Revit Pana.